Here we have our portable RO system, basically in an ammo box, very nice, easy, convenient thing for traveling. Then we've got a, the incoming pipe at the moment, we've just got it connected here to uh, a water supply in the camp. It comes with um, both a three quarter inch, which we're using at the moment, and uh, half inch connectors, depending on the tap you have to just connect it up in line. It's got a, the, a pressure gauge to see whether you need to actually plug it into a battery for electricity to get the pump going or not. Basically, if it's as long as you have over three bar, you don't need to use the electricity. It's sufficient for the system to run. The idea with this system is you, this is a system that can handle most waters. Not super dirty waters, but really dirty waters. You'd want to treat the water first with something like a PNG satchel, which which we'll show how to do elsewhere. Um, but basically, the system will address dirt. It will address things like chlorine in the water, um, heavy metals. It'll do organic molecules and stuff that might give you an off smell to the water. And what this one does, which most systems don't, is it's actually got reverse osmosis to remove the mineral content. So if you've got a brackish water or water with a lot of lime scale, this will actually change that taste. Now, what that is, is it basically changes the actual mineral content. So like here, we've got our, um, our water in this area, which is at 130 ppm. And the system's got its own little tank, so it's actually already got some water in the tank there. I'm just going to take a little bit and rinse out this glass. And just take a little bit again for a sample. And then here it's taken it down a lot lower, the mineral content, to a, a much nicer tasting water. So it wouldn't remove every everything, but it it will um, it won't remove all of the salts, all of the mineral content. But it's your most effective process for actually reducing your your total mineral content um, of a system. So then, basically, what we've got here, we've got a the little storage tank built into the unit, so that you can hook it up and run it, and you'll always have some water stored uh, to have it available for when you do want to to use water. So, because you have a tank, you actually have a good flow of water coming from the system if you're drawing from the water stored in the tank. Depending on your incoming pressure, you will get different levels of uh, different amounts of water stored in the tank. But if you measured this jug ahead of time, there's about a litre. So this has just been running for a little while. So there's one litre. Not sure if this tank was completely full though, but you can see the flow is starting to slow a little bit on the unit. And there, you see the flow drops, drops off dramatically. This is the flow we're actually getting from the filter itself. Where we've got it connected up here, we've actually got a very good um, incoming pressure. We're sitting at about a five bar incoming pressure. So you might find that you get significantly less flow than this this out of the system but if you then have um, lower pressure then like here we've got it connected to the battery you can switch on the actual pump to increase the pressure and get the system to run effectively something to be careful for with though is here in our case we don't actually want to run the pump for too too long because um, everything in here is rated for six bar and the nice thing with the pressure gauge is you can actually see if the pump is taking the pressure up too high. So if you've got a decent bit of um, incoming pressure, probably don't need to use the pump. Or if you're but if you're drawing like say out of a bucket or you haven't got a place to directly hook up the system, then the pump is a very useful thing thing to have. It just gives you the flexibility of using it in in most situations. Then if you want to travel. You simply close all of the connections on the system, disconnect your pipes. We've got an in, an out, and a drain here, and everything just fits back in the same box for traveling. Here we have the internals of the portable RO system. So basically, if we go for a quick run through the components, here's a 12-volt pump, 
with its high pressure switch and the on off switch for it. It's connected to a normal cigarette lighter plug for easy use. Then um, the other components here, this is a 3 litre pressure tank, which is just um, used to keep a buffer of water. So in a situation where you want to use water directly from the system, the tank is convenient because then you always have water available. This is the drain connection, which runs through the drain flow restrictor. Here we have our product water connection. Here's our incoming water connection. All three of these have got um, valves on them, so you can isolate them for traveling. So if you hook it up and use it at a campsite or, or in, in the back of a bucky, then um, when you want to transport it again, you can simply close all the valves and um, then you shouldn't have water going anywhere. The filters on this unit is basically four filters and three different um, actual housings. The first one is underneath here. That is the sediment filter that just catches dirt. Then it runs through a combined um, filter here, which has carbon with KDF to catch things like organic molecules, which might give you smells in the water, and chlorine. And then the KDF would also remove some heavy metals as well as preventing bacteria from growing on that carbon. And then within the same unit, there's a ultrafiltration cartridge, uh, which is a physical barrier for bacteria that allows the system to be a double barrier system. And then it goes through the RO membrane here. Other components to do with RO is this four-way valve, which is actually the one which compares the incoming pressure to the product pressure, and then switches the system off um, when the tank is full or when the, the product water tap is closed. This flow restrictor here is the one which controls the amount of water that goes uh, through to drain. And then um, the way you would operate the system is hook up your incoming water, hook up your product water either to a tap or to a container you want to fill or just let it fill the tank and then open your drain and to an area where you, where you can let it run. Then the Right here up in the corner is a pressure gauge. This, this is a very important part of the system as for reverse osmosis to work, you require at least three bar incoming pressure. Otherwise, you basically get almost no product water um, compared to the wastewater. Everything will just run out the drain and you'll get a few drops of product water. So what this is used for in this system is to decide whether you actually need to plug it into a car or a battery and run the pump, or if you can just run it straight from the tap. So if you have well over free bar, you're fine to just just run it as it is. You don't need to plug it in. If you get close to free bar or under that, then you would want to run um, the 12 volt pump just to lift the pressures for the for the system to actually work. All the housings and piping in here is rated for six bar. So if you connect it up and you see it shoots past six bar, probably rather take that water into a, a jug or into a, a container and then pump it through the system with the pump as you're very likely to break something in the system due to high pressure. Then basically your operation is just keep the water connected. If you need power, keep it connected. Turn on and off the power if it's connected on the switch over here and keep the drain open. Never run the system with the incoming water open and the drain closed, as that will damage the RO membrane itself. Then um, the product water, it's only a three liter tank. So if you keep it closed, the system will just run until the, the tank is full. If you are filling containers, you could just keep it open. And if when you close, close the, the product water valve inside the system here, um, the system will run until it's filled up the tank and then just switch off. If you, for some reason, don't want to fill the tank, and or, um, or just store the tank empty. The tank itself has got a valve here, which you can then um, open or close depending on what you want to do. Okay, so we're just clearing away some of the junk on the surface here. And we're a little bit away from the edge. And then we take our nice big bucket of dirty water out. Okay, so if you find that you've got a very dirty source water when you're out and about, like this one which we just took from the dam, then you can use something like the PNG's purifiers of water packages that works on 10 litres just to 
let everything flocculate out and also kill the worst of the bacteria. Big thing to keep in mind when using something like this is you do need to give it um, a, a half an hour to be effective at killing everything, but then ideally you want to leave it quite a bit longer to actually give the chlorine a bit of a chance to escape. Otherwise, you're going to deplete your, your camping filter's carbon's ability to absorb chlorine quite quickly. So the way this works is you literally take the packet, pour the contents in here, and then you want to give it a good, good mix. So you'll see this water, you can barely see the spade for it. But, um, let's give it a good mix throughout. All right. Then once it's mixed, you basically want to just let it stand for half an hour without disturbing it. And then ideally, if you have the time for it, a few hours extra just to get rid of the worst of the chlorine. And then when drawing water out of it, especially if you're drawing with um, a system of a pump, just make sure your, your pipe okay, doesn't go all the way to the bottom where it's going to suck in the dirt that's settled out, and preferably also not right at the surface, um, as that will give you the best results. And as you can see here, it's actually already starting to um, flocculate out and clump together. Uh, but yeah, let's give it some time and see the results.